Hello, my name's Phil, and welcome to this episode of All Monsters Go to Space. So before I begin, there are a couple of things I'd just like to mention. Firstly, throughout this video, I will be saying the names of some demonic entities. And secondly, the subjects of this video I've covered in previous videos, I will try my hardest not to repeat myself. So with all that said, let's get started. So lately, I've come across a great number of internet articles that are linking the Ouija board demon Zozo, who first came to the attention of popular culture in the late noughties, to the ancient Babylonian demon Pazuzu. Now if you do not know what Zozo is, Zozo is a supposed supernatural entity that contacts people via a Ouija board. At first, Zozo is said to pretend to be a friendly spirit, and so suddenly, revealing himself to be a demonic entity by spelling out his name, Zozo, repeatedly, as well as moving the board planchette in a figure eight motion to represent the infinity symbol. From this point, victims supposedly will suffer poltergeist activity in their homes and even possession. Whereas Pazuzu is a demon from ancient Babylonia that is the king of the demons of the wind and desert. He is humanoid in appearance, but with the head of a lion or dog and the wings of an eagle. Historically, Pazuzu has no association with hauntings or possession, and idols of Pazuzu were actually used to scare off other demonic entities, the same way modern-day gargoyles are used on churches and cathedrals today. So with this in mind, where has this association between Zozo and Pazuzu come from? Seemingly, it has seemed to come from one place, the 1971 novel and the 1973 film The Exorcist where Pazuzu uses a Ouija board to contact and eventually haunt and possess a young girl, which, as you can see, is completely different to how he's portrayed in historical records, e.g. never being known for hauntings or possession. However, it should be mentioned that The Exorcist is based upon a true story, but Pazuzu had no involvement with that case. To me, I do not believe that you can use a piece of modern-day popular fiction to link two supernatural entities together. However, if anyone does have any alternative evidence that can prove or disprove this theory, please contact me in the comment section below. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.